New grow room needs a new humidifier. Let's bring it in. Don't laugh, but this is what I'm thinking. This is going to be my humidifier tub. Look, it has wheels. We got a lid. We can wheel it out and in, clean it. It's got a lot of reserve. Should be good to go. Thanks, Walmart. Here it is. A 45 gallon garbage can. Now hear me out. Right over there is my old humidifier. That thing is just done, right? It's been through a lot. And I did build a new grow room, so it's time for a new humidifier. Let's get to work. Um, I'm trying to decide where I want to put my hole. I have a circular saw. You guys can use a knife if you're copying this, but this isn't a very flat surface. There's all these like grooves and stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a hole where I know the circular saw will cut into a flat surface. And that's only because I don't want air seeping out of the sides if I cut a unflat hole. I don't know if that makes sense, but we're just gonna put a hole. If you love growing mushrooms and you think it's something that you might wanna do for a living, go check out sporeload.com. It's a service I built for mushroom farmers like myself and has been incredibly useful as the backbone of my business. If you're just starting out in the industry, let me know and I'll hook you up with Sporeload. Just email me at sporeloadtech at gmail.com. There we go, there's one nice hole. And I'm gonna need one other hole for uh, the humidity to come out of. I think I'm gonna try and put it on this slope so I get a little angle. Humidity will be pushing out. I think my drill's dying. Hey, got it. Cool. So, two holes. One for the fan, one for the exhaust. To kind of like blow it out towards you. Again, you can use a hot knife if you want and cut a circle, but this is pretty handy. So I want to show you real quick my choice of it's like subsonic discs that create fog and humidity. I'll leave a link down below of the things I use, but uh, this has been really good to me and I got it on Amazon for a really good price. It is a Chinese model of subsonic mister. It's lasted me a while. I like how flat the bottom is and that the floats don't uh, have a standoff. So this can really get low in my tub and use as much water as possible. But I've been through a a bunch of humidifoggers, and this one's worked really well. I'll drop this in the tub. There it is in the bottom there. It's, it comes with this power supply, which is really nice. You can wall mount it. It has all these little, uh, I guess you call them lacerations or grooves to disperse heat. And that's one thing that happened to me, I think t twice now, my power supply burnt out. So sometimes it's good to have a fan on them, but this one's had literally no problems. And you also want to have this machine on a timer. If you let it constantly run, that's really no good. And nor does your mushrooms really need constant humidity, but your circumstances may vary. I'm actually gonna feed this right through my exhaust port because it really doesn't matter. This is staying in the grow room. Nice work. Maybe like this. Like shut it this off, shut it off. <laughs> Once I get in the grow room, I'll fill it up easier with a hose, but. Oh shit. Right, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Stop <That's> my brain. <laughs> Everything's hooked up. We're gonna run it for our first test run. The fan's backwards. Seems to be working pretty good, and just as expected, uh, I didn't expect anything else crazy to happen. I expected it to work. It's a pretty self-explanatory build. The main difference is really just using a trash can, which is kind of interesting. In terms of the wheeling ability, this is a little flimsy. Uh, I probably should have got a thicker trash bin to do this with. So you could take that into consideration if you're going to build your own trash bin humidifier system. One other thing is I'm going to keep this inside of the room. Sometimes people have their humidifiers outside the room blowing in. In fact, that's what I did in my old girl room, but it's not what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to leave it in here. It's going to suck this the air into the room and push it back out along with more humidity. Quick little end of the video reminder. If you want to hook your fog mister machine up to one of these timers, that's great. There's lots of other digital timers where you can get really specific and set when you want them on and off. Or you can get one of these little ring timers. Yeah, thanks for watching.